Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for March the 30th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, and your spirit ever renew our lives. Our psalm for today is Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who teaches my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my steadfast help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what are mortals, that you should consider them? mere human beings, that you should take thought for them. They are like a breath of wind. Their days pass away like a shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast down your lightnings and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and let thunder roar. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and take me out of the great waters from the hand of foreign enemies, whose mouth speaks wickedness, and their right hand is the hand of falsehood. O God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on a ten-stringed harp. You that give salvation to kings, and have delivered David your servant, save me from the peril of the sword, and deliver me from the hand of foreign enemies, whose mouths speak wickedness, and whose right hand is the hand of falsehood, so that our sons in their youth may be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters like pillars carved for the corners of the temple. Our barns be filled with all manner of store, our flocks bearing thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Our cattle be heavy with young. May there be no miscarriage or untimely birth, no cry of distress in our streets. Happy are the people whose blessing this is. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Let us pray. God, our Deliverer, stir our weak wills, revive our weary spirits, and give us the courage to strive for the freedom of all your children to the praise of your glorious name. Amen. Our Gospel reading for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 5. Jesus gave them this answer. Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly I tell you, a time is coming, and has now come, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to live, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. On this day, we pray for forgiveness and reconciliation and we include prayer requests from our church's prayer partnership and from Presbyterian World Service and Development. By the power of the Spirit and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. We pray for the people who gather and serve at Winnipeg Inner City Missions in Manitoba, and we give thanks for their mission and ministry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Ukraine, for the people who stay to defend their homeland, and for those who have been forced from it, for their leaders, 
for those who are caught up on both sides of the border in a conflict not of their choosing. God, be a comforting and sustaining presence in heart and mind. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant your encouragement and wisdom to our governments at every level, that they may seek reconciliation across all divides, treating each other and those with whose care they are entrusted with dignity and respect. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of love, you call us to follow you each day, and the more we seek you, the more we find of your truth. Stir our spirits within us, that we may be renewed in our desire for you and faithful in our work, our worship, and our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your forgiveness, O God, for times when we have allowed ourselves to be distracted by the things of this world, when we have put success, money, personal ambition, and entertainment ahead of you, when we have valued the good opinion of the powerful more than our commitment to following you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant your gift of love to our local community, our church, and the cities and towns in which we live, that in all our actions, words, and relationships, we may show our care for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, we pray for all those who are sick, in body, mind, and spirit, that they may find healing and wholeness in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, you are the maker of all things. You are sovereign over all. We pray that leaders around the world would have the wisdom to form and keep laws that protect the earth today and for future generations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Christ our Redeemer bring us healing and wholeness. Amen.